my machine consists of 24 cones. And we are painting different mysterious archaeological locations. Og vi maler forskellige mystiske arkeologiske steder from six continents. Fra seks kontinenter. If we start from here, if we start here, what we can observe is Uluru monolith. Så kan I se Uluru monolithen i Australien. That's in the middle of Australia. I midten af Australien. With the one Aborigines. Med en aboriginer foran. This is a holy, a sacred space for the Aborigines. Det er et helligt sted for aboriginerne. This was the place that they would teach the younger generations about the life. Det var det sted, hvor de ville lære de yngre generationer om livet. About the astronomy. Om astronomi. About the food production. Om madproduktion. Water usage and preservation. Og brug af vand og beskyttelse af vand. Monolith had different female or just male places. Og monolitten havde forskellige feminine eller maskuline steder. Aborigines are over 55.000 years old. Aboriginerne er over 55.000 år gamle. With a very developed astronomy. Men meget udviklet astronomi. When the Englishmen came 300 years back to Australia. Da englænderne kom til Australien for 300 år siden. Most cases they were naked. Så var aboriginerne i de fleste tilfælde nøgne. So for the Englishmen, they were not very developed. Så so for englænderne så de ikke særlig udviklet ud. But simply for the aborigines, this body was just a vehicle. Men for aboriginerne var kroppen bare et øh, køretøj. And the major aspect was the soul. Og det vigtigste aspekt af mennesket var sjælen. With which they were able to travel og de var i stand til at rejse i sjælen through the universe igen universet There is a saying among aborigines that they were visited tens of thousands of years back og det siges blandt aboriginerne at de blev besøgt for 10.000 vis af år siden they are saying more than 1000 generations back de siger mere end 1000 generationer siden which is 20000 years ago hvilket er 20000 år siden and that they were told og at de blev fortalt that they came from the stars. at de kom fra stjernerne and that through the astral projection og at igennem astral projection they can go back home kan de rejse tilbage hjem and it seems that they were able to visit their original home og det ser ud til at de er i stand til at besøge deres oprindelige hjem for us in 21st century for us in the 21. century, especially for the geologists, især for geologer, this is just a piece of natural rock. Der er det bare et stykke naturlig sten til det. There is a difference between us and them. Det er forskellen for os og dem. The Mayan city of Copan in Honduras. Maya byen Copan i Honduras. This is their biggest pyramid. Det er deres største pyramide. And they have reconstructed it. Ja, de rekonstruerede den. They discovered much older temple inside the pyramid wall. Fandt de et meget ældre tempel inde bag pyramidevæggene. Due to its rose color. Og på grund af dens rosa farve. They named this temple Rosalilla. Kaldte kaldte de templet Rosalilla. One of the motifs on the temple walls is this vehicle. Og et af motiverne på tempelvæggen er det her øh, køretøj. Is this a car? Er det en bil? In the jungles of Honduras 2000 years back? I Honduras jungle for 2000 år siden. Or the spaceship? Eller et øh, rumskib? In the state of Ohio. I Ohio. In the northeastern US. I nordøst USA. There are more than 200.000 earthen structures er der mere end 200.000 jordstrukturer they call them mounds de kalder dem bakker the best known mound is called ohio serpent mound den kendteste er ohio slange høj serpent mound 
Who built them? Who bigger them? What we know is that every curve on this snake. Det vi ved er at enhver kurve på et slange. When you look at the center. Når man kigger på centrum. Shows the position of the sun. Udpeger solens position. At a different important dates. På bestemte vigtige datoer. The sunrise at the summer solstice. Solopgang på solværv, sommer solværv. June 21st. 21. juni. Or in the evening the sun coming down. Eller om aftenen solen nedgang. For the summer solstice. Til sol, sommer solværv. For the winter solstice. Et til vinter solværv. For the fall equinox. Og til Uh, efter os jævndøgn. And for the spring equinox. Og til forårs jævndøgn. And for four lunar phases. Og for fire månefaser. Astronomical observatory. Så so det er en slags astronomisk observatorium. Not built by the American Indians. Ikke bygget af indianerne i Amerika. And of course not by the white European. Og heller ikke selvfølgelig af de hvide europæere. So who built it? Så so hvem byggede det? Great Zimbabwe. Great Zimbabwe. In Africa. In Africa. The conical towers. Pileformed tårne. Energetically very powerful. Very energetic, powerful. Very high concentration of negative ions. Very high concentration of negative ions. The largest in the world, except for the tunnels that you just visited. Den højeste koncentration af negative ioner i verden, bortset fra de tunneler, vi lige har været inde i. Material, granite. Og materialet er granit. It took a lot of time to cut it. Det har taget lang tid at udskære det. Mount it and install it. Og stable og installere det. Who? Hvem? The Mayan civilization had majority of their cities and towns in Mexico and Guatemala. Maya civilization had the fleste of their byer i Mexico and Guatemala. This is the face, the profile of Maya. Det her er profilen af Maya. They were 160 centimeters high. Den var 160 centimeter. And they have direct linkage. Og de har en direkte To the era before the end of the last ice age. Til tiden før slutningen på sidste istid. Which happened 12,000 years ago som sluttede for 12.000 år siden. This is the temple of Black Jaguar as our civilization called it. Det her tempel kalder vores civilisation for den sorte jaguars tempel. It's pyramidal structure. Det er en pyramideformet struktur. When you're standing on the top on the terrace. Når man står på toppen på terrassen. You can see across the valley. Kan man se på tværs af dalen. The same structure, the twin structure. Og få øje på en tvillingestruktur. They are about 150 meters apart. De er omkring 150 meter fra hinanden. When you talk from this terrace, når man taler fra terrassen, to the person who's on the same level on the other structure, til personen som står på samme niveau på den anden struktur, with the regular sound, med en helt almindelig stemmeleje, they can hear you. Så kan man de høre hinanden. Why? Hvorfor? Because they have number of holes in the walls. Fordi der er huller i væggene. They act as the sound amplifiers. Og de fungerer som lydforstærkere. People on the floor, on the grass. Folk nede på jorden, på græsset. Who are closer to you. Som er tættere på. They cannot hear nothing. De kan ikke høre, hvad man siger. The first pyramidal structures. De første pyramideformede strukturer were built in a Sumerian and Babylonian civilization. blev bygget af den sumeriske og babylonske civilisation. They called them ziggurats. De kaldte dem ziggurater. But some of them, og nogle af dem, they wanted to reach the sky. Forsøgte de at uh, nå op til himlen med. Why? Hvorfor? Because this was the place where the gods resided. Og det var fordi, at det var deroppe guderne boede. The most important artifact in the world for me. Det som jeg synes er 
den wichtigste Artefakt in Werden. Is called Sumerian King List. Er den sumerische Kongeliste. It lists all Sumerian rulers. Den Liste over alle sumerische Konger. Or as our archaeologists say, kings. Eller som ja, eh, altså alle de sumeriske eh, regenter, herskere, eller som arkeologer siger konger. There are four phases in the Sumerian history. Der er fire faser i den sumeriske historie. The last phase. Den sidste fase. From 6000 years ago. Fra 6000 år siden. Is the phase of the children of gods. Det kaldes for fasen for børn af guder. And these are Sumerian rulers as we know them. Og det er de sumeriske ledere som vi kender dem. Humans. Mennesker. Some of them ruling for two years, some of them for 50 years. Nogen har regeret i to år, og nogen i 50 år. Before that, demigods. Før det, halvguder. Or semigods. Eller semiguder. Before that, lesser gods. Før det, de mindre guder. They would rule Sumeria for 1000 years each. De regerede hver i 1000 år i Sumeria i Sumer. And before that, gods. Og før det, den første fase, guder. With a small g, not capital G. Med et lille g, guder. It is said Precis. that gods descended from the kingdom of heaven. At de her guder med lille g kom ned fra øh, kongeriget i himlen. To the kingdom of earth. Til kongeriget på jorden. 273.000 years ago. For 273.000 år siden. And they would rule Sumeria 30.000 years each. Og de ville regere i Sumer i 30.000 år hver. For example, Alajar. 28.800 years. For example, all of them are 28.000 years. Some of them 36.000. No, they are 36.000. Or 30.000. Or 30.000 years. This is not something they teach us in schools. This is not something we learn in school. But this is a stone plate, like a stela. This is a stela, a stone table with carved names. Where the names are engraved. And date. What our archaeology, history, and educational system take from this stela? Of what historian or archaeologer take from this stela? Is just the last phase. They look only at the last phase of human rulers. Of the human rulers. This is not scientific methodology. This is not a scientific methodology. Either you don't take nothing. Enten så, så tager man det ikke for gode varer, eller så må man tage det hele alvorligt. The best known megalithic site in the world is called the Stonehenge. Det mest kendte megalitiske sted i verden, det er Stonehenge. It is located in southern England. Det ligger i det sydlige England. It consists of megalithic blocks. Det består af megalitter, megalitiske blokke. Today many of them are missing. I dag er der mange af dem der mangler. Originally. Originalt. There were 30 upright stones. Så var der 30 oprettet stående sten. And 30 of them positioned horizontally. Og 30 horizontale sten. 30 plus 30 is 60. 30 plus 30 er 60. They form a circle. De former en cirkel. 360 degrees. 360 grader. 60 times 360. 60 gange 360. Equals 21,600. Er 21,600. 216. 216. Equals 9. Er 9. Of all the numbers, 9 is the only one which is cosmic, divine number. Ud af alle tallene, så er 9 det eneste tal, som er et kosmisk, øh, guddommeligt tal. The northern latitude of uh, Stonehenge Og den nordlige breddegrad, som Stonehenge ligger på Is at 
52 degrees. Jeg er på 52 grader. 41 minutes. 41 minutter. And 10 seconds. For 10 seconds. When we multiply 52 by 41 by 10, and when we add 10 digits, the fractions of the seconds. And now we gang at the tell up, as a grader, minutes, and seconds, and us take all the signals with. The result is 21,600. So the result is 21,600. What does it tell us? What does it tell us? That the builders had very advanced geodesy. At them that built this here, they had very advanced insight in the whole Jorn's composition, that is, Jorn's geology. Geodesy, geodetic science. Geodesy, no. Yeah, geodetic. Geodetic. Yes. They knew our planet. They knew the whole planet. When you drive somewhere. You go on Google. No, man, you are still heading. So go again on Google. They give you coordinates. And they give you the coordinates. Degrees, minutes, and seconds. They don't give you fraction. They give you fraction. Ten decimals in seconds. They don't give it to you. They give you decimals in seconds. Somebody knew exactly where to place this monument. But there was no one who knew precisely where this monument was placed. Three hundred and sixty degrees. They had the concept of circle. Or 360 degrees. They had this concept of circle. Not to mention, not to mention grey and blue stones reaching from 25 to 60 tons. For so let me tell you that it was these grey stones and blue stones that weighed how many tons? From 25 to 60. From 25 to 60 tons. Yeah. I'm going to see it again in two days. Yes, get up again. I'm going to England tomorrow. Can I ask you something? Uh, that would require that you would uh, count with 360 degrees and the, our number system of 10. But I mean, that's somehow arbitrarily set, right? 360. It is. But then they would. What does it mean? It means uh, the same thing goes for the meters. We think yeah. meters is our invention. Yeah. And we are going back like 18th century, or we are saying only last century we gave precise uh, unit measurements. But when you take the pyramidion on top of the red pyramid in Dakshur, it is one meter by one meter by one meter by one meter. Okay. Why not 105 centimeters yeah. or 107 or 92? Mm -hmm. Exactly one by one by one. It seems like this knowledge is going from generations to generations. Or somebody is giving us and we think that we are the ones who invent. So the same thing goes for the circus. Okay, so I think it belongs to the previous one. Super, thank you. So you just put in the morning here, and if it's not something we've found on the side, but he says that it's clear that they also have it that time because the top stone in the red pyramid in Egypt is precisely one time, one meter, one meter, one meter, one meter, one meter. The Giza pyramids. Giza pyramids. We are told they were built by the fourth dynasty Egyptian rulers. We know that they were built by the fourth dynasty of Egyptian rulers. Four thousand five hundred years back. Four thousand five hundred years back. And that would be wrong. And that is wrong. No pharaohs. No pharaohs. Because they had no technology. Because they had no technology. And not four five hundred years ago. And not for the time of five hundred years ago. Between thirty and forty thousand years ago. By the gods. Men, they were built for. Who came to Egypt forty-two thousand five hundred years ago? Okay. They were built by the gods with a little g who came to Egypt for two or three thousand years. We are told each pharaoh one pyramid wrong. We found one in. This complex was built at one time. This complex was built at one time. Original design. At the same time, all the pyramids that are there on the Giza plateau, because it is a complete design. Three big, seven small pyramids. Three big, seven small pyramids. Energy amplified. 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 Three big, seven small
go back with Tepe. Go back with Tepe. Southeastern Turkey. I sydøst Tyrkiet. Hvorhen? Of Tyrkiet. Southeastern Turkey. Officially 11,600 years old. Officielt 11,700 år gammel. Late Dr. Klaus Schmidt. Den sene Dr. Klaus Schmidt. Discovered it back in 1995. Opdagede den tilbage i 1955. He uncovered three megalithic circles. Han fandt tre megalitiske cirkler. After he died, Turkish government uh, uncovered three more. Og efter han døde, så fortsatte regeringen, og de fandt tre mere. But Dr. Tepe, uh, Dr. Klaus Schmidt told me at least 100 circles like that. Men Dr. Klaus Schmidt har fortalt Dr. Sinir, at der er mindst 100 cirkler. And he told me the age probably 15 to 18,000 years. Og at han anslår det til at være 15 til 18.000 år gammel. Blocks are reaching 12 to 15 tons. Blockene er 12 til 15 tons hver. Very strong limestone. Meget stærk kalksten. The best quality. Den bedste kvalitet. Eastern Peru. Østlig Peru. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Officially Royal Retreat for Incas. Officielt det royale tilbagetrækningssted for indkerne. Inkas var i det area 800 år back. Og indkerne var på et tidspunkt 800 år siden. From the 12th to mid 16th century. Fra det 12. til midt 16. 16. århundrede. But the place you can see four distinctive construction techniques. Men på stedet kan man se fire tydeligt forskellige Konstruktionsmetoder. Four civilizations. Fire civilisationer. The first one, den most advanced. Var den mest avanceret? Their blocks were reaching 250 tons. Deres blokke kunne blive op til 250 tons. And the physical chemical analysis Og of the material kemisk analyse af materialer is taking us to Bolivia. Viser, at det kommer fra Bolivia. 150 km away. 150 km derfra. Who was able to move blocks 250 tons? Hvem var i stand til at flytte blokke på 250 tons? My thinking, it's probably 55.000 years old. Jeg forestiller mig, at det er omkring 55.000 år gammelt. Which is the first phase of the Atlantis. Den første fase af Atlantis. The second civilization was using blocks tens of tons in weight. Og den næste civilisation som byggede ved Machu Picchu, de brugte blokke som var eh, omkring de 10 tons i vægt. They are using polygonal blocks. Polygonal with 6, blokke. 8, 10 up to 24 sides, 24 corners. Med 6, 8, 10 op til 24 sider sten. Not Incas. Ikke Incas. The third one was using blocks, the same like ancient Romans. 500 kilos to 2000 kilos. Og Four den, sides. Den tredje fase, de brugte samme størrelse sten som de gamle romere har brugt uh, fra et halv til to tons. The place was abandoned and forgotten. Stedet blev forladt og glemt. Incas came and rediscovered it. Inkerne kom og genopdagede det. They used smaller stones. De brugte mindre sten. Make a separation among the huge walls. Til at lave små vægge til opdelinger. Building a primitive roofs. Og lave primitive tage. And this is where they were bringing their royals. Og det var der de tog deres royale til. Almost everything they teach us about the ancient history is wrong. Næsten alt hvad de lærer os omkring den gamle historie er forkert. South Africa. Sydafrika. Adam's calendar. Adam's calendar. According to our friend Michael Tellinger. Ifølge vores ven Michael Tellinger. It's a couple of hundred thousand years old. Er det et par hundredtusind år gammelt? Well, precise dating has not been done. Der er ikke blevet lavet en præcis datering. But monuments is really very very old. Men monumentet er helt klart meget meget gammelt. Most of it is missing. Det meste mangler. But those who remain there. Men det der stadig er der. Have clearly astronomical features. Har nogle klare astronomiske 
the features. And a little bit to the north. And this more north, Africa. All the way from South Africa to Namibia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique. Namibia. Thousands Zimbabwe, and thousands of stone circles. Are there thousands of stone circles? No entrance. Ingen ingang. That's huge mystery. They are telling us in southern black Africa, no people thousands of years back. And we have constructions that would require millions of people. The western France, Karnak, more than 3000 megaliths forming the lines. Som laver linjer. Dolmens. Dolmens. Who built them? Hvem har bygget dem? We are told from five to eight thousand years old. Uh, vi bliver vi fortæller de er op til otte tusind år gamle. But what civilization in Western France in the older Neolithic times? Men hvad var det for en civilisation i det vestlige Frankrig i uh, den gamle stenalder? Official archaeology does not know. Det ved den officielle archaeologi ikke. And what was the purpose? Og hvad var formålet? You know, hundreds and hundreds of them in the same line. Hundrede og hundrede i samme linje. Do they follow underground energy lines? Følger de mon underjordiske energilinjer? Ley lines. Ley lines. The cosmic lines. La kosmiske linjer. Let's go to the other dimension, other part of the universe. This one is not finished yet, but I believe it represents the Chinese pyramids. Two hundred and fifty of them in the central, central Shanxi province. There are two hundred and fifty in the central province of Shanxi. Near the city of Xi'an. Near the city of Xi'an. A small city. In little bit. So big. Nine million people. Nine million people. Twenty oldest pyramids. The oldest pyramids. Are more than 12,500 years old. And more than 12,500 years old. Built from granite and sandstone. Granite and sandstone. The second phase in pyramid building in China. The second phase of pyramid building in China. From 2,300 years back. From 2,300 years back. Until 1,000 before present. To 1,000 years back. By the Chinese emperors. Are the Chinese kaiser. Much smaller. Much smaller. Inferior material. Or dolier material. They call them mud bricks. They call them mudder stone. Bricks made from mud. Mudder, mudder stone. The first one superior. The first one was bigger. Bigger. Stærre. And the later inferior. Or the younger is dolier. So where is the evolution? So where is evolution? They are teaching us about in schools. They are telling us before we were primitive. They tell us that in the old days we were primitive. Today we are most advanced. And today we are very advanced. Most intelligent. And the most intelligent. And the most beautiful. And the smartest. They teach us wrong. They take fail. They learn something. Okay. Aksum. Aksum. The Queen Sheba or Sheba. Running the Sheba. Now, this is the northern Ethiopia. They are the northern Ethiopia. It is a home for the largest obelisk in the world. The largest obelisk in the world. The biggest one, which is broken on the ground. Some lega or a stick of the ground. 650 times. 650. It was in one piece. It was in one piece. When it was shaped. Then it was formed. Transported. Transported. And installed. And installed. Today there are a few more, between 150 and 180 times. Or today there are some more, which are between 150 and 180 times. Who moved them? 
We don't know about advanced civilization then. Even though during the Queen Sheba's time, there was a lot of gold. It doesn't matter where she resided. If it was Yemen, or Saudi Arabia, or Ethiopia, or even more to the south. Our knowledge about even recent past is, is very, very limited. The island of Sardinia. Nuragi. Nuragi. Conical towers. Twenty thousand towers like this one here. Very often megalithic blocks were used. They were not used for the defensive purposes. It's very hard to say why. Archaeologists, geologists, historians, they have no engineering knowledge or skills. If they did, they would start measuring. Like I did. They amplify and focus the energy. Who? Yeah. Hard to say. Officially, historians are saying until 4,000 years ago, the peaceful farmers were living in Sardinia. And then all of a sudden, a great number of engineers and skilled construction workers appeared built all those nuragis then they disappeared everything went back to normal to the peaceful farming the island of uh, Mauritius, Mauritius. Mauritius. They don't teach us about their pyramids. But you can find my scientific report about them on the internet. Seven step pyramids on this island. Now, they are oriented towards the solstice. The most important day for the ancients. The most important day for our forefathers. For the northern hemisphere. For the northern hemisphere. It's June 21st. It is the 21st of June. For the southern hemisphere, it's six months later. And for the southern hemisphere, it is six months later. I have calculated 20,000 tons of shaped volcanic stones was used. Jeg har beregnet, at 20.000 tons af vulkanske sten blev brugt i konstruktionen. Officially, this island was not inhabited until the 15th century. Officielt så var den ø slet ikke beboet indtil det 15. århundrede. The first visitors. De første besøgende. From the Arab Peninsula. Fra den arabiske halvø. 11th, 12th century. 11. til 12. århundrede. And then 15th, 16th century. Portuguese, Spaniards, British, French, but neither Arabs or Europeans never built pyramids. So who built them? We need to change the history of this little island. In the middle of the Indian Ocean. Ah, Easter Island. In the middle of nowhere. 
4,000 kilometers from South America. 4,000 kilometers from South America. 10,000 kilometers from Tahiti. 10,000 kilometers from Tahiti. This is what I call an episode. This is what I call an episode. Somebody built hundreds of Maui's or stone heads and half bodies. Someone has built hundreds of Maui's bones and half bodies. Biggest one reaching 175 tons. Den største er 175 tons. From the volcanic stone. Ud af vulkansk sten. Which is very hard to shape. Det er meget svært at forme. On this island, there is no advanced tools. Og på den ø er der ikke nogen uh, avancerede redskaber. The guides over there will tell you. Well, they were taking the small stones and they were shaping into beautiful laser straight shapes Og those figures we can hear a lot of senseless explanations in history in this island we also can find megalithic walls vi kan også finde megalitiske vægge på den her ø. Polygonal blocks. Med polygone blokke. You can find also the stone spheres. Man kan også finde stenkugler. And it was one of the rare places where the stone spheres are at the original location. Og det er et af de sjældne steder, hvor stensfærerne er på deres oprindelige placering. When I placed compass. Da jeg lagde et kompas. The needle would go left right. Så vil pilen svinge til højre og venstre. Fordi det er et energetisk potent sted. Looks to me, somebody flew, landed, built and disappeared. For mig ser det ud som om nogen fløj ind, landet, bygget og forsvandt. This is Rondo Rondo writing. Det her er Rondo Rondo skrivet. Discovered only on this island. No other island has figures, walls, stone spheres, or writing. Micronesia, Micronesia, Polynesia, nowhere, only here. Micronesia, Micronesia, Polynesia, or other places, only there. This writing has not been deciphered yet. The inscription is not clear yet. Here we are under the water, the blue color. Here we are under the water, the blue color. The blocks stepped in design. And the blocks are in trin design. Near the coast of Japan. Stepped on the coast of Japan. Their most western island called Yonaguni. The most westerly island in Japan, Yonaguni. At the depths from 30 meters to 80 meters. In depth it puts 12 to 40 meters. 13 underwater cities have been discovered. 13 underwater cities have been discovered. From 1995 up to present. According to geologists and archaeologists from Japan Germany and US including independent geologist Robert Schock. This is all natural. They claim that those stepped structures were made by the sea. And the streams. Since it's below the Pacific level, Siden det er under stillehavet. Means it was, this was built before the end of the last ice age. Så betyder det, at det her blev skabt før slutningen på sidste istid. When the ice melted 12,000 years back. 
da isen smeltede for 12.000 år siden. Huge quantities of water. Så kom store mængder vand. Went into the worlds, seas and oceans. Ind i verdenshavene. Pacific went up for 80 meters. Og stillehavet steg 80 meter. The cities came under the water. Og de byer blev oversvømmet. So their minimum age is 12,500. Så deres minimum alder er 12.500. This is what bothers official archaeology and history. Og det er det der generer de, de, den officielle historie af arkeologi. And Robert Shock. Og Robert Shock. I don't know if anybody mentions him today. Jeg ved ikke om der er nogen der har nævnt ham i dag undtagen mig. The Basel Pyramids. De Basel Pyramider. The Sand Pyramid. Sol Pyramiden. Concrete blocks which you're gonna see in a day or two. Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, uh, som vi se this is the largest pyramid in the world. Den største pyramid i verden. Its real height is more than 360 meters. Den reelle højde er mere end 360 meter. The Great Pyramid of Egypt, 146.6. Den store pyramide i Giza, 145.6 meter. We have a complex where elements of sacred geometry we had were complex, applied. Sun, moon and dragon pyramid in Bosnia Sol, måne, i forms perfect equilateral triangle. Can you stand here? People cannot speak. 2180 meters between the tops. 2180 meters between the tops. The second element, the other element is the golden section spiral. The beginning point is the top of the sun pyramid. And on this spiral we have top of the love pyramid and two more pyramid hills. The second Golden section spiral Den anden, uh, spiral. begins at the place where the river Fornica meets the river Bosna. Starter på det sted hvor floden Fornica møder floden Bosnien. And on this spiral we have top of the Bosnian pyramid of the sun. Og på den spiral der har vi toppen af solpyramiden. Entrance to Ravne tunnels. Indgangen til Ravne tunnelerne. And Cumulus in Vratnica. Oh. Which you're gonna visit also. Som vi også skal besøge på lørdag. Somebody very carefully position laid out those structures. Nogen har placeret de strukturer meget specifikt. And you have elements of sacred geometry. Når man har elementer af hellig geometri. You have movement of the energy. Så har man energi der bevæger sig. Again, the Chinese pyramids. Again, the Chinese pyramids. So probably unfinished uh, drawing or painting was maybe pyramids on Canary Islands. So they can be the first soils in which we can see the Canary pyramids. 104 of them. There are 104 of them. But it gives me a chance to say a few more words about the Chinese pyramids. And it gives me a chance to say a few more words about the Chinese pyramids. When I visited the place, when I visited the place, I realized they did not enter those pyramids. Så kunne jeg se, at de har ikke været inde i dem. Director of the Archaeological Institute in uh, Xi'an told me they don't have permission from the government. Lederen af det arkeologiske institut i Xi'an, Xi'anxi, har... For ja. another generation. ...har sagt, at de har ikke tilladelse til at gå ind i pyramiderne fra regeringen i But, endnu en generation. Which is 25 years. I 25 år. 15 years is behind us. I don't think they're going to get permission very soon. Those pyramids are covered by forest today. Similar like Bosnian pyramids. The forest has been planted here after 1967. In Bosnia after 1963. Here they knew that they had artificial structures. Here they knew that they had artificial structures. In Bosnia they didn't know. In Bosnia they didn't know. Even today some people don't know. The reference from 1967. 
Referencen fra 1967. Chinese archaeologists had a conference in Japan. De kinesiske arkeologer havde en konference i Japan. And he announced Og han uh, annoncerede, that there are 250 pyramids in China. at der er 250 pyramider i Kina. He discovered clay tablets. Han fandt med some type of hieroglyphic writings. Med hieroglyphskrifter. He partially deciphered it. Han har delvist oversat det. And he said that the pyramids were built 12,500 years ago. Og han siger, at ud fra det var pyramiderne bygget for 12.500 år siden. After the cosmic accident. Efter en kosmisk ulykke. The spaceship ended up on this planet. Et uh, rumskib endte her på planeten. They couldn't repair it. Og de kunne ikke reparere det. And they continued the tradition of the pyramid building. Og de fortsatte traditionen med pyramidebyggeri. Does it mean that the knowledge about the pyramids has been brought to us? Why don't we have evolution in the pyramids? The oldest are always the biggest. And they respect the criteria to become energy amplifiers. Kocher pyramid in Cambodia. Kocher pyramid in Cambodia. Is a seven tier, seven step pyramid. And Sutrin's pyramid. It is, a, according to archaeologists, a structure built by the emperor from the 10th century. In fully archaeologer, is it a structure built by Kaiser in the 10th century? In the jungles of northern Cambodia. In jungles in the northern Cambodia. And they assign many, many other structures to this ruler. Og de tilskriver mange, mange andre strukturer til den samme kejser. The structures are much older. Men strukturerne er meget But on the very top, there are Hindu carvings of Hindu bark, Hindu gods. Men oppe på toppen, på det aller øverste, der er der uh, inskriptioner uh, med tegninger af Hindu guder. The rest of it, no carvings. Og for resten er der ikke nogen inskriptioner eller tegninger. It was built using pyramid criteria. Det blev bygget og overholdt pyramidekriterierne. A regular geometry. Som handler om regulær geometri. Square base. Med en firkantet base. Sacred geometry numbers, 7. Kvadratisk base og det her hellige geometri tal, 7. Perfect orientation, east, west, north, south. Perfekt orientering mod nord, syd, øst og vest. To the cosmic north. Til kosmisk nord. We have artificial lakes next to the pyramid. Vi har kunstige søer ved siden af pyramiden. Connected with canals. Som er forbundet med kanaler. Water moves. Vandet bevæger sig. You have kinetic energy. På den måde skabes der kinetisk energi. Water moves. Negative ions have been produced. Og når vand bevæger sig, så bliver der frigjort negative ioner. From the very top. You have passageways going down at 90 degrees. Og på toppen har man uh, passager, der går nedad med 90 grader. Energy chimney. En energiskorsten. Inside chambers. Og der er kamre indeni. Resonance chambers. Resonance kamre. Kokkerpyr. Kokkerpyr. Where did it all begin? Hvor startede det hele? Behind Hercules pillars. Bag Hercules' søjler. Which was Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Which is Atlantic Ocean. The at, uh, Atlantic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. In the middle of it, 55,000 years ago, there are two huge islands. Midt i det, for uh, 55,000 år siden, var der to store øer. After that, one sunk. After this, sunk. At the bottom of the Atlantic. Midt i. The other one lasted until 12,500 years back. Den anden ø varede indtil for 12,000 år siden. And that one was also hit by huge rocks. Den ø blev også ramt af store klipper. Coming 
from the universe after the planet between Mars and Jupiter was destroyed today there is so called asteroid belt with the many many smaller and bigger rocks when this planet was destroyed huge pieces hit our planet some of them middle of the Atlantic Ocean where this island stood 200 kilometers by 400 kilometers big island that was the third phase of mysterious land of Atlantis the end of it Today it is 3,500 meters below the sea level. It is said by Plato, as you, as you know, three concentric circles of land and the water, land and the water, and the entrances in order to get to the middle of Poseidonis, which was the capital of Atlantis, they were protected by the Colossi. We know the Colossi of Rhodes. Of Rhodes. The same thing here. This was the first and the oldest Colossus. The second one and the third the second one and the third one. The first one does not look very humanly. The second one is the combination of humans and some hominids, very developed race of hominids. And the third one is very beautiful human female. Is this our real evolution? One of the most impressive sites in Mexico is called Teotihuacan. Three bigger pyramids. Pyramid of the Sun. Moon. Quetzalcoatl. And 600 smaller pyramidal structures. That this is what is uncovered. And below the forest and mountains, 80% more of this magnificent pyramids. The energy beam was filmed going through the top of the moon pyramid. Energistrålen er blevet filmet gå op gennem toppen af månepyramiden. Energy machine. Det er altså en energimaskine. According to official history, Ifølge officiel the city was built from 2150 years ago. Det er bygget for 2050. 2150. 2150. Det er 150 år siden. By Toltecs. Det er Toltecerne. 200 years. Nonsense. It was built very quick. An advanced civilization. Much, much further in time. Under the biggest pyramid, the Sun Pyramid. The tunnels were discovered. Under Moon and Quetzalcoatl also. It seems that under the Sun Pyramid there was a natural cave which was expanded and extended and then network of tunnels 
would connect different locations in the city. Og så var der et netværk af tunneler, som forbandt forskellige steder Those i byen. Those tunnels are still not meant for the tourists. De tunneler er stadigvæk ikke beregnet til turister. Because they are much older than 2000 years. Fordi de er meget ældre end 2000 år. You see how the ruling elites don't want us to go deep in the past. Vi kan se hvordan eliten som styrer ikke har lyst til at vi skal gå dybt ind i fortiden. Why? Hvorfor? Because we will start asking questions. Fordi vi vil begynde at stille spørgsmål. How do civilizations lived? Hvordan de levede? What was their material Hvad var advancement? Deres? Hvad var deres materielle spiritual experiences? Hvad var deres spirituelle oplevelser? What did they know about the life? Hvad vidste de om livet? Would they live much longer than us? Ville de leve meget længere end os? Did they know about the existence of the soul? Kendte de til sjælens eksistens? Did they do astral projections? Lavede de astral projektioner? Did they travel through time? Lavede de tidsrejser? Did they fear anything? Frygtede de noget? Or were they free? Eller var de frie? Free. Free. What is freedom? Hvad er frihed? Freedom is no limits. Frihed er ingen grænser. Freedom is no fear. Ingen frygt. Imagine that we are free. At vi er frie. That we know the truthful history of the mankind. At vi kender menneskehedens sande historie. And of this planet. Og planetens historie. And of all visitors. Og at alle besøgende. Imagine that we do not fear death. At vi ikke frygter døden. Imagine that we do not fear losing the job. At vi ikke frygter at miste vores job. Or changing it. Eller at skifte job. Imagine that we do not fear losing material things. Forestil jer at vi ikke frygter at miste materielle ting. If we are free. Hvis vi er frie. The political elites become irrelevant. Så bliver de politi- den politiske elite irrelevant. They cannot rule our lives. Så kan no de ikke styre more. vores liv længere. We don't afraid. Så er vi ikke bange. And we change the social structure of the society. Og så kan vi ændre den sociale struktur i samfundet. From people who fear. Fra folk som frygter. To people who cooperate. Til mennesker som samarbejder. Live in peace. Lever i fred. And dignity. Og værdighed. With the love as the binding material. Med kærlighed som denne materiale. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hey.